Hello darlings, hello fire signs. How are you doing? Hope things are good. Let's see what's going on for you. Messages that want to come through for those watching. This is Aries Leo Sag. Congratulations Sag, you and Libra tied for the most likes for March. So I'll be doing a special reading for you that'll come in the next week or so. So keep your eyes peeled. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Sounds kind of gross to me, actually. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we're doing here. Very interesting air reading today, if you happen to catch it. Um, for those of you on the spiritual journey, a lot about the feminine energy uh, ascending in a way that is very powerful yet not masculine, right? Balancing the masculine energy that's overdoing right now. So that was air sign, very interesting. Let's see what's going on for fire sign for you. All right, a leg up. There's a lot of, a lot of energy here about helping each other. Chop wood, new life. New life is coming. I feel like either you're helping somebody or they're helping you and it's setting you on the path for something new and good. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this. Like it's legit helping each other. And I, what I mean by that is it's not like codependent helping. It's legit helping each other, you know, like supporting each other and nurturing each other, caring for each other. In a day to day, very day to day, I'm feeling very much focus on the being very much in the now right now. Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands, all right, Eight of Wands, Temperance, there you are, Saggies, a new beginning. Communication, seeing the balance of things through the lens of experience here. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Queen of Swords. You're connected to an air. This, these readings today, the air and the fire definitely are connected. This is an air, a air sign reading or an air sign individual who's looking to overcome some past problems okay somebody's trying to overcome and they are overcoming it with your help four of wands fool five of cups let's see so the relationship is here the opportunity is here why is the five of cups here world chariot Queen of Cups, King of Swords. Very nice. Okay, so I feel for you here, this says to me, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, you guys have a real meeting of the minds. You guys just get each other. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we'll look at that in the extended. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they are putting the end ending to a past relationship with a water sign, possibly a cancer. Okay? So it is like finally time for that to be done. They, it, this person may have identified themselves completely with the past. They might have lived, they might be living in the past completely. Okay? But this is a real new beginning, a beautiful new beginning. And they're overcoming living in the past. There was a uh, Cancerian, like I said, water sign. That's what this is, this nine of wands. Somebody that really, um, really hurt them, really clobbered them. And now they are finally putting a close to that chapter, ending a chapter. Not looking back anymore. In fact, the fool is like completely walking away from that. No more looking in the past. No more living in the past. 
No more living in the past for this person. I feel like your steadiness, your help with this person, your um, legitimate caring for this person, they've overcome this feeling of dread. I think they're finally trusting this. Finally trusting this. So you might be Ace of Wands. You're holding out like Ace of Wands is like the beat, the the light, the torch. Okay, Eight of Wands. You're you're com communicating about the future and where things could go, and it just feels so balanced. Doing this beautiful energy of like, all right, let's try this, let's try that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Right? Chop wood, carry water, taking care of each other, okay? And this person is able to overcome that past because of it. Because of this kindness, this nurturing. And so I do feel like they are very logically driven. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. But there's no, there's, they might have looked at it in a cold way at first, this relationship. They might have looked at it logistically. Do you know what I mean by that? Just like, well, this could work because I live here and they could just move here. You're right. There's like logic applied. But this four of wands and this fool, that is, you know, there's a little bit of fool's rush in here, which is kind of required for love. It's not logical. And so I feel like you are overcoming this person's desire to live in the past when they felt loved. They don't feel they didn't haven't felt loved for a long time. Okay? So now they're feeling more loved by you. And it's they're able to put this in the past. And they're able to have communication with you. I, I, it is still a logical communication, right? Queen of Swords, King of Swords. But this water sign. So I feel like you're dealing with an air sign here. This water sign is their past. All right. This water sign is their past. Two of Swords there, Ace of Pentacles, yeah, New Beginning. They have not been able to see a path forward. They have not been able to, to be healed. They have been stuck. They have been locked in this and have been very stubborn about it, okay? Um, because you are choosing to approach this person in a logical way, your minds both have very... Um, both very smart, very adept. You know, the, the, the conversation is really good. This person is slowly, slowly, slowly starting to um, move away from being so stuck in the past, so, so determined. They have some kind of barrier against healing up until now because they felt that it was too feminine to try and heal themselves. They were being too masculine. They weren't putting enough, they weren't caring for themselves enough. They weren't nurturing themselves at all. They were abandoning themselves about this feeling. They were definitely abandoning them, themselves. And so now they can see a bright new day. You're helping. I don't know if you know you're helping, but you're helping. You're a beacon. You're a beacon in the storm. You're putting out that um, that light. This person is responding to it. Okay? person is responding to it. And it does feel very even and kind and good and nurturing and all of these things. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a lot of effort, really, for you. I don't think it feels like a lot of effort. I think when you feel overwhelmed, you say it. And I, I don't know that, um, 
that's what this is. This feels like you genuinely help this person and you're just being yourself. Not being too, not being too um, romantic though. It's not like, it, it could be a friendship that's really helping this person and laying a good foundation for the future. All right, so I'm going to keep going here. Let's see where we go. Let's see if this turns into anything, okay? Link is below for you, fire signs. I'll see you over there.